The reported EF2 tornado took out part of a nursing home. Fox 25's Jameson Kefover found how everyone inside made it out safely. There are more than 70 people living inside this nursing home in Shawnee, Oklahoma, when a tornado hit Wednesday night. They all took shelter in the center part of the building. That's a good thing because this is where they would have been if they didn't take shelter. Many of the bedrooms and the bathrooms inside of this nursing home are now covered in debris and the roof caving in. Significant damage to Shawnee Colonial Estates. Now, the work to rebuild begins. We didn't realize the extent until the sun came up and it really hit you. And I mean, by the grace of God, there were no injuries and all of our staff was safe. Places like nursing homes have went through a lot in the last three years to keep doors open and keep residents safe. This tornado is no exception. We have talked many times and feel like if you can make it through COVID, you can make it through mm -hmm. anything. Within seven hours, the staff relocated all 79 residents to other locations because they can't stay here. This is probably the worst that I've that I've traveled to and I've traveled to many hurricanes and freeze events as well. Serve Pro team members are clearing debris and showed the hardest hit areas where if someone didn't follow the safety plan, not everyone would have made it out safely. Those safety plans that went into effect here at OBU and throughout Shawnee are something officials say saved lives. Uh, a survey that went through Shawnee and one of the things that everyone felt really good about was the city responding to emergencies and disasters and it showed we had no major injuries and no deaths. Something many people in Shawnee are saying lives are more important than buildings and belongings. All that can be rebuilt. People are coming back trying to find their personal belongings, but most of those items are just in piles of rubble like this one. But the people who own this facility say they are working to rebuild walls, the roofs and any repairs they can make. So in just a matter of months, people can be back living in this facility. Reporting in Shawnee, Oklahoma, I'm Jameson Keefover.